gonna be going over a good pistol disarm here. This disarm, just saw it, he had the gun right to my chest and I disarmed it real quick, created a little bit of distance from my attacker. So I always believe there's no best gun disarm, there's no best way to gun disarm. Any way you learn to disarm, it's good to practice it, it's good to become faster at it. Whenever you're practicing with a partner, you wanna make sure he keeps that trigger finger around the grip of the gun, not inside the trigger guard, okay? Because if we do any disarms where I turn the gun this way, it'll break his finger or hurt his finger really badly. So we're gonna keep his grip right around the grip of the gun, okay? Nice and relaxed, because I want good safety for my partner as well. I don't want him to get hurt while we're training, okay? So this, this disarm, he's got the gun right to my chest, okay? Right to my chest, right to my throat, right to my head. Any of these times, I don't want to cross the hands. I'm gonna come up as if he has control, I'm afraid, I'm not showing any sign that I'm gonna try to fight back until I fight back, okay? So I don't want to threaten him, because if I threaten him, he might create a little bit of distance. He might move back and still keep the gun pointed at me. Now I have to do a different disarm, okay? So I want him to feel nice and calm, like he has all the power in the world. I'm just submitting to him. I'm just putting my hands up, saying, hey man, you know, don't, don't kill me until I take the gun, okay? So this gun disarm, I'm going left hand here, right hand here, turning the gun immediately away from me. I'm taking the gun. If he has a real good grip on the gun, I torque it, okay? So even if he has a strong grip, strong grip, when I come up, when I take, I still take the gun because I'm going right to the wrist, I'm bending his hand, I'm taking the gun right at the top. You always, wanna, you always want to expect the gun to go off when you're doing this. You want to prepare for the worst, so you want to expect the discharge. When you grab the top of the gun, it can fire and it will not hurt your hand by holding the top slide, not at all. It'll still fire, you still have a good grip. So you want immediately that gun is pointed away from you and you take the gun, you create distance. Here we have a different scenario, right? My attacker has a concealed weapon. I don't know it's there. It's not already pointed at my chest. So I can't use that same disarm, okay? I'm not gonna wait for him to get the gun to my chest. He might shoot me by the time, by the time he gets the gun there. He might, he might shoot me. So here he has a concealed weapon, he starts as soon as I saw that weapon, I go for the wrist, I step to the side. Now I'm out of the range of where the gun is pointed, okay? So as I step to that side, I have his wrist. I'm gonna take the top of the gun and I'm gonna turn in, getting the gun out of his hand. So as soon as I start to see that gun into view, I wanna take the wrist, I wanna side step, I wanna take the top of the gun and I'm gonna turn it out, go thumb side. Much easier to get the gun out of his hand that way. Taking the wrist, grabbing the top of the gun, and turning it out, okay? So, keeping in mind who's behind me, there's people right in that direction. I don't wanna turn that gun right on them. So I'm gonna really keep it down, and I'm gonna go real fast to get that gun pointed at him, okay? So as soon as he goes for that, I sidestep and I disarm, okay? Very simple. I don't want to wait. If I wait and let him get it up to my chest to go for the disarm that I just showed you, I'm taking a big chance. I don't need to do that. So that's why it's important to know more than one disarm. I don't want to rely only on this disarm that I showed you before, okay? He might draw the weapon and I already have a chance to go for the wrist and take the gun from him, okay? And start drawing. So as I take that wrist, I want to keep his arm as close to me as possible with the gun pointed away from me. That way, when I torque, I can use my hips and my body as well to torque that gun out of his hand. We're gonna switch positions here. So as he draws, I go for the wrist, I turn, I keep that wrist close to me, okay? I just don't want that gun pointed at me. When I take the top of the gun, I use my body to turn and get that gun out of his hand. coming up, I'm gonna go for the gun, okay? I don't wanna get up too high to where my hands are in his peripheral now, they're in view of his eyes really very well. I don't want the second I move for him to pull the trigger, okay? So as they're coming up is when I wanna go for it, okay? As those hands are coming up. 
I could go either this arm here, take the gun from him, 